Hi guys, Anne here, Quantum Heart Living. Thank you so much for joining me. Wow, we are getting blasted with some amazing energies coming through. Some uh, higher frequencies are certainly uh, affecting uh, a lot of people in many, many different ways. Uh, it is actually a beautiful, uh, definitely supporting energy. It is very difficult to sum this up in an energy report, mainly due to the fact that oh, everything is shifting so very, very quickly that um, from one moment to the next, it changes. So, um, you know, this is really kind of a scattered energy report because it's more reflective of exactly what is happening right now. Now, we've got some fantastic, as I said, uh, energy coming through right now. Uh, very supportive, showing us and supporting us in this, uh, this evolution, this transformation uh, collectively to higher consciousness, this transformation of us on the planet here into really understanding that we are energetic beings. And uh, as we feel ourselves, our physical bodies sort of adapting to this and, and changing, uh, as we feel a different perspective uh, come upon us, uh, we feel kind of tingly and um, have, it's like, what exactly is going on with me? Uh, there's like physical symptoms that may be showing up in many, many, many different ways uh, for individuals as we start, more and more of us start to recognize some of these things. We're realizing that, wow, we really, really are um, shifting and it's happening uh, more and more to more and more people. And uh, we're seeing this uh, at a rapid rate and everybody's at sort of a different part uh, of the journey. And um, you know, I can tell you that there are certainly um, bits and pieces of this uh, not easy, okay? So uh, it is uh, definitely, you've got to um, keep your seatbelt fastened because uh, these ups and downs are very uh, random and uh, changing from one moment to the next. Now, these, uh, these spikes of energy, uh, depending on where you're at, uh, they can seem like a huge um, ride up and down at first. And as we keep kind of working through the down shift, those down moments, um, and we get through those and we stay with the program and we shift back up again, we start to see a little higher perspective. Um, these waves tend to become a little bit more subtle over time. So hopefully that's uh, some good news for some of you is to realize that, uh, you know, yes, these shifts are happening in huge waves for some. Uh, you can feel, you know, uh, I can feel some going through some very negative dark night of the soul kind of stuff. Um, and others that are at the higher perspective and feeling this uh, joy, this just um, peacefulness, this mode of relaxation, and, um, and then some in, in between. So uh, please do realize that if you keep your belief system intact and, and you tap into that uh, inner voice uh, and you stick with it, uh, you will swing back up again and those um, the pendulum uh, becomes uh, less of a ride the more we go along on this journey uh, so yeah but you know as you stick with it and as you keep creating the new so uh, letting go let go let go let go of the old stuff uh, let go of the past uh, let allow this uncertainty to uh, come through, uh, allow and accept everything for exactly the way it is. Stop and breathe and appreciate this particular uh, beautiful, miraculous moment that we are in. And uh, yeah, it's so much that as we stop and let go and slow down and relax, you are 
able to really see where you are being nudged and guided and there are little signposts along the way that if you really remain open uh, not to what you were used to maybe but to what is presenting uh, differently then you will start to uh, get those little aha ah aha I get that good one like it I, I catch myself even saying that out loud when I see something like 11-11 uh, 11, 11 or 12-12 uh, 12, 12 come up on the clock just as a little nudge or a reminder. So there's so much of that that is currently available manifestation uh, rapidly if you keep uh, moving in the direction. Uh, even though the voices are uh, the inner voice, the ego mind is um, kind of trying to pull us back and say you're not worthy um, you know you've never been worthy you don't really you don't deserve to be joyful and happy you uh, there's going to be something around the corner um, well that's uh, incorrect all right so uh, that's uh, that is uh, the past programming you see this is what we would have uh, possibly absorbed through toxic relationships that we spent time in that we are getting insight into oh boy um, I didn't even see that and uh, that is uh, unbelievable that I put up with that uh, but you have to step away from all of it to clearly see to really clearly see uh, removing yourself from so much of that type of energy it starts to become more and more clear the veil is lifted and some of that is really collectively what we're all experiencing so it's coming through for a lot of us in our own lives our own relationships our own experiences uh, this is the collective conscious at work here uh, when we step out of it and really tap into who we are and trust ourselves trust yourself trust yourself it's okay to have invested a lot of time in something and to take a new direction uh, a lot of times we may feel completely uh, guilty it's like I've invested so much time into this that or the other that um, it'd be kind of crazy to move uh, to pivot away from that but I'm telling you when you start to really pay attention to the messages to the nudges to the gut feel like listen to your heart a hundred percent of the time when you pay attention to that little voice that's been talking to you and I know that voice has been talking to you going you know you should really think about maybe moving or investigate looking into this or that uh, all of you who are getting that uh, listen uh, pay attention because if you're sticking with the old story just because there's a lot of time invested uh, you've got to take the chance and take a risk and make a change and um, it's a new cycle beginning for so many people it's a new earth it's a new environment it's a new energy you're gonna feel your energy shifting and changing it was wanting you to move and change your frequency is changing you're taking in new frequencies you're releasing old you're going to experience um, letting go of a lot of stuff and it's okay it's scary but once you've let it go you um, can let it go and you will see that uh, that was the right thing for you you know um, stay in your self-confidence so much of toxic uh, behaviors and gaslighting is attacking self-confidence people don't want you to be self-confident so even just within yourself prove to yourself you have nothing to prove to anybody you stay true to who you are and this is so important right now the ego voice always wants to attack self-confidence and we are used to that messaging and programming um, and we have to say that little voice is not true 
there is so much amazing energy on tap right now so many messengers coming into your life when you talk to people you can see in some cases they are delivering very important messages of all sorts and kinds and it's pretty amazing don't feel guilty for doing less doing less is sometimes where we learn what our next steps are there's so many light codes coming in mother earth is oh so happy that there's so many of us appreciating her and her beauty and there's so much beauty so much beauty around us right now so focus on the positive energies realize that as a new energetic being as we are moving into this time of transformation of awakening it is an adjustment this is this is a new environment there isn't uh really a lot to go on here aside from your intuitive heart-centered self and we know that things are changing there are so many shifts taking place for so many people breaking the old patterns is what a lot are experiencing right now it's causing anxiety yes a lot of anxiety energy but there's also some huge breakthroughs occurring for so many people as well so try to keep a positive perspective and focus on where you see yourself act as if you're already there daydream feel good in your present moment whatever it may be gratitude is so super important yes sometimes this energy can be tougher but follow what your body is asking of you symptoms are appearing for everybody right now in all sorts of shapes sizes and fashions from head to toe i know for me uh, crown chakra activations like crazy so much coming in and when we are getting all of this new stuff it is a tiring to process so we have to allow the processing time so important guys that's what i have for you for right now it is so super exciting stay with it we got this we got this we'll talk soon bye